Bukidno National High School is a prestigious institution which continuously developing and enhancing the students for better living in the near future. After pioneering different curriculums, this institution continued to run these curriculums for different purposes and from different choices. The science curriculum is for developing Paragon students and to develop perceptiveness of students. The STBEP is for developing the skills of the student for the goodness of mankind. The SPA is for enhancing the talents of the students. The SPS is for enhancing the skills of the students in different varieties of sports. And RBEC, enhancing students on a precise way. The state of pandemonium in Bukidno National High School never occurs. Instead, the students and the teachers in Bukidno National High School develop truce camaraderie in each other. The Bukidno National High School is a strong and brave in facing different problems. School core values, integrity, demonstrating maturity, honesty, fairness, loyalty, respect, God-fearing, cleanliness, and nature advocate. Accountability, takes responsibility on every action and decisions made and on every task and duties entrusted. Discipline, appropriate display of desirable character and traits. Excellence, working, striving, and desiring for the best. Bukidnon National High School envisions to produce quality graduates who are highly competitive, God-centered, and responsible Filipino citizens. Its mission is to provide quality education aims to develop functionally literate Filipinos who are socially and morally responsible, contributory to positive global influences, and become productive members of society. Bukidnon National High School, formerly named Bukidnon High School, was established in 1941 on July. Its basic objective was to meet the quest of economically poor students who had not enough financial means to study outside the province to obtain general secondary education. At that time, there were only two existing secondary schools, Bukidno Normal School, known today as Bukidno State University or BSU, and Mindanao Agricultural College, known today as Central Mindanao University or CMU. Prior to 1941, only children of affluent families were afforded general secondary education in Cagayan de Oro. When classes started, there were only 68 students totally enrolled in the first and the second years. Classes were held under the caves of Malaybalay Central School Building located at the site of the old public market which was later transformed into Freedom Park. December 8, 1941, barely three months after classes began, World War II broke out and the school had to be closed. On September 1, 1946, after the Second World War and through the demands of the pioneer students, Bukidnon High School was re-established by virtue of Provincial Board Resolution No. 63, approved on August 22, 1946, under the leadership of Governor Lupe Damasco. Classes were held in tents pitched by students at the present site of the BSP building. In 1948, 
Classes were held in vacant rooms of Kingdom Normal School. Shacks had to be constructed by students to accommodate themselves as their classrooms. On July 22, 1948, the Provincial Board approved a solution number 580 appropriating 16,000 pesos out of 25,614.60 National Aid in Kidnan Provincial High School Fund budget for procurement of the school site. Initially, the name of the school was Bukidnan High School, but was changed by the first principal who was Mr. Herman Neri. This is to establish an identification and classification of secondary schools in accordance with its source of funds and legal basis of operations. The development of the presently Bukidnan National High School was headed by the following administrators. survived and emerged financial difficulties. Despite national aid and provincial grants and aid, a scheme was devised so that the collection of tuition fees will suffice the amount needed for personal services from time to time. Bukidnan Provincial High School was under threat of closure in the early 70s. This propelled the school administrator to work hard in 1974 for the conclusion of the school in the Ministry of Education and Culture budget for the implementation of programs for general secondary, fishery, trade, agriculture, and other vocational courses for granted. In July 1975, by General Appropriations Act of 1975, our Presidential Decree 733, Bukidnan National High School was included in the MEC approved budget. The amount was released by the Ministry of Budget in April 1976 and the turnover ceremony was on July 23, 1976 of all properties and unveiling of the school nameplate bearing the name Bukidnan National High School where the school received a thunderous applause from students, teachers, parents and guests. The administrator since 1962 was Mr. Liberato Tortola Belongs is the first alumnus to become the principal of his alma mater. His leadership in the regional and national professional associations made the Kidna National High School renowned as an educational institution. Thus, he can be considered as part of the school historical development. In 1972, Bukidnan National High School was selected as pilot school for the work-oriented curriculum and spearheaded the implementation of the 1973 Revised Secondary Education Curriculum or RSEC. And in 1975, Bukidnan National High School adopted the 1975 RSEC with vocational education as required elective rather than academic electives. In the same year, the school was selected as Edpitoff Developmental High School for practical arts and science teaching for Mindanao and Sulu. In school year 1988-1989, the school was again selected as a regional leader school for mathematics and science and technology mass training of teachers in Region 10 for the effective implementation of the Secondary Education Development Program or SEDP. In 1990, it passed the screening criteria for the sec selection of three high schools in the country to represent the three geographical regions. In the same year, the Department of Science and Technology chose Bukidno National High School as a pilot school for special science classes together with six other high schools in Region 10. As PASMEP and STEEP GTZ assisted regional leader school, all other high schools in the region became also the beneficiaries of science laboratory equipment worth millions of pesos. Bukidno National High School alone was a recipient of more than 1 million pesos science laboratory equipment and supplies. Teachers were trained in Australia and at Regional Center for Science and Mathematics or REXAM at Penang, Malaysia.
Happy 73 Foundation and 39 School Nationalization Anniversary. Okidon National High School today marks another milestone in the history of our school in its journey as a, an academy who has survived from such and things to what it has become today. My salute and accolade to the great men and women, both past and present, whose untiring efforts have earned the recognition not only as a leader school in this division, but in the region and even in the national level as well. Our celebration this year may lack splendor, but color, but our hearts should in the jubilation of another year of joyful hope, meaningful challenges, and excellent achievements. On this occasion, as my last stint as principal of this school, I can only wish that Bukidno National High School will last for more years of meaningful and graceful existence to continue serving the youth of this province and that each celebration such, such as this will always leave an indelible mark of loyalty, dedication, commitment, and generosity of those who become members of Bukidno National High School Big Family. Lastly, allow me to share with you the pride and the love I have for Bukidno National High School, not only today but the years to come. Congratulations and mabuhay, Bukidno National High School. God bless us all.